want to share this video. Uh, this video talks about some very interesting things. First, it talks about the phenomena of Alpha Vida. Now, these girls, this single mom, uh, they were with Batman, and this video is full of lies, and we can understand those lies, and we can now read uh, the language after understanding Rola Tomasi and Donathan Sharp and all these uh, people who go deeper into how the dynamics of the with single mom. So, what she's telling is she was in an abusive relationship and she dumped the car. It's kind of just the reverse. She was attracted to abuse. She was attracted to strong masculine men who does not give a shit to them because that's what they are attracted to. And then the man dumped her and she did not dump the man. That's point one. Point two. The man dumped her and she had no other option. Nobody can believe that. The girl always have this daily strategy. They'll have beaters in the place. So she got dumped by the alpha and she got dumped by the beta. And these are the two things. And this video is full of other lies. Let's try to understand this. I'm always worried who's paying for all these expensive houses for a single mom. I think it's seeking arrangement when they're needing men. So if you go to seeking arrangement and you see all these single moms, uh, they charge like uh, $400, $300, $500 to meet you once a week, twice a week. So $500 for meeting you twice a week or like $2,000 or $3,000 to, to meet you eight times a month or something like that. That's what their profession is. Now these girls are desperately searching for meters. Uh, at the same time, they want to be having sex with the alpha. That's how their dating cycle is. That's how their dating strategy is. And uh, uh, Rola Tomasi talking to you about that. How can a girl making $2,050 a month live in all these expensive houses if you see her videos? And I know YouTube does not pay that much. So what their dating strategy is, uh, I'll tell you. So they'll have sex with three kind of men. One is the beta, which uh, would be transactional sex for taking care of the kid and living with her. The other sex is with the chair and Tyrone's on the way back to home, which nobody knows. It's in the in the toilet. And the third sex, another third thing is sugar daddies, where she would charge uh, four hundred dollar and want to have a stipend of like two or three thousand dollar a month. So that's how. They are selling their body and all of the three things, so that's how they are monetizing their vagina. So now when they live with this beta male simp provider man, they expect the guy to pay the complete rent. So they expect the guy to pay like $2,000 or $1,500 a month for the rent. The money that they get from the sugar daddies, so two thousand or three thousand dollar a month, they keep it with them and keep saving them. And uh, to uh, to reduce the stress, they have sex with uh, the bad boy alphas randomly, who does not call them back. The idea is, these bad boy alphas should not call them back or should not be clingy. So that's what they do. Uh, they don't care about the girl. They have sex with any girl they found on the street and then let the girl go.
biggest problem in all these phenomena are the beta males and providers. So I'm making these videos for the 